welcome to another video getting to know Construct 3. In this video, we're going to talk about another one of Construct 3's bars. This time, it's the properties bar, usually found on the left hand side of the editor. The bar will look slightly different depending on what you have selected in the editor, but it will show you properties related to your project, to a layout, or a layer, or whatever object instance you happen to have clicked on at the time. In fact, whenever something in your project is clicked, then its relevant properties will be shown in this bar. The property name will appear in the left column and the editable values in the right hand column. Properties themselves are organized into categories which you can expand or collapse depending on how much you want to look at. And there are many different kinds of properties including number fields, text fields, drop-down lists, checkbox and clickable links. There are far too many properties to list here, so if you ever want to check what properties a particular thing might have, say a sprite for example, then head over to the C3 manual. There'll be a link to it in the description. Talking of descriptions, your properties have them too. Each property has a small description which provides a bit of additional information about how it's used or what it's used for. These descriptions are shown in a little panel at the bottom of the properties bar. It's worth remembering if you're not sure what something does. So for now we're focused on behaviours, but if we switch to opacity, the little description changes at the bottom. I mentioned earlier that some properties can be number fields. These properties have a couple of neat little features unique to the category. Firstly, when typing in your number, you can actually type in some calculations, such as 190 over 2. If we put that in here, then hitting the Enter key will then set the value as the result of the calculation, which in this case is 960. If you want to quickly change values without doing too much typing, simply click in a number field, and then click and drag vertically within the number cell to raise or lower the value. And there you have a whirlwind tour of the properties bar. There is so much stuff crammed into this little bit of real estate that you'd have switched off long before we could put it all into a video. Head to the start page and load yourself an example project and start messing around with the properties. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.